Hey, it's Michelle. Happy Friday. So, do you care about me? Do you ever ask yourself that question, or do you ever get asked, "Do you care about me?" I'm Michelle Fernandez, and I'm all about helping you create a balanced life by expanding your joy, your influence, your income, and your impact on others. So, how many times have you been asked that question? Right, whether it be from your school days, where your let's say your boyfriend or your girlfriend asks you, "Hey, do you care about me?" Maybe your kids ask you, your spouse. Like these are important questions, and when you respond, you really need to respond properly and think about how you answer that. So, never underestimate the positive effects that you have on caring about someone else, because the love and compassion that you have. Whether it be for yourself, for your family, for the organization that you belong to, or a team that you belong to, creating that caring atmosphere is really not that hard, but it goes such a long way. Like think about the golden rule, right? Like you treat others how you want to be treated. So if you concern yourself with the welfare of others, then. You endure more loyalty and respect, right? You create value and you acquire power. So people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Does that make sense? If you feeling like if you understand or you've ever been there, whether you've been asked that question or you ask someone else a que- that question, drop a one in the comments below because we all want to be cared about, right? I always tell my children. And I don't know if you feel the same way, but whenever I see someone that's maybe、um, a little nasty, or has like attitude, or is all full of themselves, or feels like they have to be better than you, or have to like one up you, or put you down for everything, I always say, "Oh my gosh, I don't think their mothers hug them enough," <laughs> you know, or their parents didn't hug them enough because. People need to know that they're cared about, that they're loved, and they're respected in their own right, for them to flourish and become good people, and realize that you know other people, not everybody's out to get them. So I think it's important, and I wanted to share this a couple things with you that I was reading. The absence to love is like air to fire; a little bit stimulates it. But too much puts it out, so don't put out the fire. So show people you care by keeping their fires lit. Don't you think that's like a great com- analysis of like what I'm talking about? If you do, drop a one in the comments below because, I mean, if you think about it, so many times people might people you love might ask you your opinion on something, and sometimes you feel like oh, I have to give them or tell them what they want to hear. But that's not always what you should do, because if you really love and care about them, then you really want to guide them in the right direction. Ask them questions. Try to make them come to the best、um, response or answer or decision based on some research or their thought process. Don't just tell them what they want to hear, because maybe that's not the right decision for them. So I wanted to leave you with one thing today. It's a little poem that I saw by my man Lou Holtz. He has it hung in his home, and the author is unknown. But I thought this was great because when we talk about how we should live our lives and caring for others and caring for ourselves, and how we should be put forward and not allow other people's、um, preconceived notions or thoughts or opinions reflect upon us, it's a struggle. Like I live with it. Sometimes I think, you know, what is someone going to think of me? Or You know, is that the right decision? Because you know, how is that going to affect others? But you have to look at the bigger picture. You have to make yourself happy, right? If you know in your heart that you're doing the right thing, you need to move forward. So I thought this was really great. So here it goes. It's called anyway. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered, but love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish alter motives. Do it, but do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow, but do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable, but be honest and frank and frank anyway. The biggest person with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest people with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. 
People favor underdogs but follow only top dogs. Fight for the underdogs anyway. You, what you spend years building up may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help but will attack you if you help them. Help them anyway. Give the world the best you have and it may kick you in the teeth. Give the world the best you've got anyway. So I hope you have a great Friday and please make sure you bring the joy in all you do today and enjoy your weekend and I will see you on the next video.